Hello everyone, welcome to Wasting Academy's YouTube channel. So in this particular video, we'll be talking about the new recruitment opportunity, which has been released by NPCIL. So Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited has released their second notification also in regard of recruitment of scientific assistant positions. Now this is without gate examination, uh, stipendary training, paramedical and non-technical post at their Kaiga site. So what we can do is we can go on the official website. Now this notification, 46 page notification has been um, given. In this notification, half of it, it is in Hindi and half it is in English. So the English part, it is on the page 26, right? So let's just go on the 26 page. Yeah, so 20, sorry, 24 page. It's 24, yeah, on 24th page, sorry. So Nuclear Power Corporation of India Limited, um, for their Kaiga side, they have released this notification advertisement. Uh, online op op opening date for the online application will be 12th of March 2025. And the last date, closing date is um, 1st of April 2025. Now the vacancy breakup has been given for scientific assistant position group B. Uh, current vacancies are total of 45. So good amount of vacancies are released. 45 vacancies, stipendary, trainee and scientific assistant positions, 82 vacancies have been released, stipendary, trainee, technician positions, 226 vacancies total have been released, assistant grade 1 HR 22, assistant grade 1 FNA 4, uh, CNMM it is 10 vacancies, nursing positions 1 and technicians again 1. Um, scientific Scientist, scientific assistant position B, right? Let's see what are the disciplines. So computer science, civil, electronics, instrumentation, electrical and mechanical students, all are applicable. So for computer science, there is one vacancy. For civil, there are 19 vacancies. For electronics, there are two vacancies. For instrumentation, there is one. Electrical, seven. Mechanical, 15, right? And category one, uh, stipendary trainee, uh, who are there, uh, who all are applicable? Electronics, Instrumentation, Electrical and Mechanical, uh, Health Physics, uh, BSc Chemistry and BSc Physics students. Uh, for Mechanical, 33 vacancies, for Electrical, 24, Instrumentation, 16 and Electronics, 13. Right, and uh, for other category, Draftsman, Civil, one position, Draftsman, Mechanical, one position for Technician positions. Right, and for other, this is Non-Engineering positions. Yeah, so let's see uh, what are the education qualification requirements for the positions. Right, that is important for us. The qualification details must be mentioned. So for scientific assistant positions, what are the essential education qualifications and experience required? Um, there should be a diploma of three years, right? And um, after that diploma in civil, not less than 60% for civil positions. For electrical, Diploma in electrical, not less than 60%. For instrumentation, diploma in instrumentation, not less than 60%. Uh, for electronics, diploma in electronics, uh, not less than 60%. And for similarly for mechanical, not less than 60%. For candidates applying for S uh, scientific assistant B position computer science. So you should have BSc computer science with not less than 60% or BSc with not less than 60% plus one year diploma in computer science with not less than 60%. Right, uh, or BSc statistics with not less than 60% plus one year diploma in computer science with not less than 60%. So uh, they have clearly mentioned what category of students are applicable uh, in general, what is your degree requirement. For stipendary trainee, a scientific assistant position, uh, again diploma students are applicable over here, diploma in engineering, not less than 60% um, should be applicable for electrical, mechanical, instrumentation and electronics, right? And for BSc, um, for physics and chemistry positions, health physics, so they are, they are saying that BSc in chemistry and BSc in physics, chemistry or mathematics shall be applicable, right? Now, after that, stipendary training or technician positions, again, 50% um, marks in science subject and everything, ITI 10th pass, should be there. So this is not our concern. Yeah. So for 
major positions which are of our concern it is good right after that let's see the pay and level approximate positions for scientist b position it is level 6 and for nursing it is 7 and for others it is level 4 so for scientist positions level 6 35000 rupees uh, 35400 rupees per month and this accounts for total of you know dns allowance included 54000 rupees per month right so it's a good one for diploma students those you can apply for these right and uh, how the selection process will be there here details of training and bond executed by category 1 category 2 bond has also be signed right bond will also be there what is the age limit scientist b position 18 years will be your uh, lower age limit and your upper age limit will be 30 years for stipendary training it is 18 years once again lower age and higher age is 25 years right so there is not born and after and before also mentioned you can also see that right and relaxation will be there corresponding to the categories of the government and how they have specified selection process for scientist position b scientific assistant position b there will be an online examination plus an interview will be there and for category 1 stipend 3 uh students as well cyber training and scientific assistant positions also there will be an online examination plus an online interview uh not online interview sorry personal interview will be there right uh apart from that yeah so for scientist b position and cyber uh training and scientific assistant positions stage 1 that was your online examination 50 questions will be there um multiple choice questions with choice of four answers duration will be 1 and 1/2 hours 90 minutes syllabus questions pertaining to perspective field respective field uh, of your sub, sub, uh, technical subjects only questions from the subject uh, technical subjects only will be asked two for correct answer 0.5 for negative marking right uh, maximum marks 100 will be there qualifying marks for unders of category is 40% 30% for sc st and obc category right shortlisting for personal interviews candidates will be shortlisted for the personal interviews by applying in the ratio of 1 is to 5 so five times more uh, you can consider right uh, for the selection for uh, personal interview now interview will be also of 100 marks language of the personal interview applicants may answer the questions either in hindi or english so there is no problem if you don't know english there is no issue you can answer in hindi if you don't know hindi you can answer in english right qualifying standards again 40% unders of category 30% for sc st obc and ews and pwbd category uh, final selection will be based upon the overall performance in the online examination plus interview so both uh, weightages shall be given in the ratio of 50 50 right so 50% weightage will be given to your examination and 50% will be for personal interview right and they have also mentioned what how uh, if there is a tie breaking aspect that is also considered over here now stipendary training and technicians um, for other aspects also science general awareness mathematics for non technical portions they have mentioned right not our concern um, right and afterwards you will be called for document verification and everything right chaliye so this is your these are you know other ones are for the other positions not for us right so this is our important aspect and how to apply go on the official website npcilcareers.co.in and uh, the last date of the application is 1st of april 2025 so do apply for this so if you are a diploma student do apply for these positions it is not clearly mentioned that if a student of btech to uh, btech bachelor's degree are also applicable over here so you can apply if it is there then obviously you can give the exam there you got nothing to lose give the examination if you are a diploma student then it's a very good opportunity for you do apply for these positions npcil is one of the most prestigious public sector enterprise in india so thank you for watching do subscribe to our channel and uh, um, share it with your friends as well thank you